What's up, everybody? It's your boy. God dang, that was actually kind of quick, wasn't it? <laughs> but it's your guy, Supreme Decisions. And I'm here today to give you a little illustration of police duties. Now, earlier today, I did a show and I was going over the human rights and system policing, something of that nature. Well, in the midst of that, there was a comment that was made um, by a young man, brought up the fact that police don't owe the people a fiduciary duty. Now, I'm going to go through two things. One of those where the context, because remember I teach application. One of the things that was brought up was Castle Rock v. Gonzalez, which is 545 U.S. 748, and that's a 2005 case. Well, I'm going to read to you what that case insist, consisted of, and I'm also going to give you the secondary part of it, which was my answer on it. But I'm also going to throw in a District of Columbia case. So let's get ready. Warren B. District of Columbia is an often quoted case because it was in the District of Columbia Court of Appeals. And the case that held that police do not owe a specific duty to provide public services to plaintiffs based on the public duty doctrine. Now, most of us have very little clue what the public duty doctrine is and not really going to get into it, but give you an overview. The public duty doctrine provides that a governmental entity cannot be held liable for an individual plaintiff's injury resulting from a governmental officer's breach of a duty owed to the general public rather than to the individual plaintiff. This is one of the reasons why I speak about suing them in their personal capacity. This is also the setup between um, Malloy v. Briggs and why I let you know the 1982 or 1983 is the exact case why these things pop up. And it gives you deeper illustration into that. So now when we have this, note I haven't spoken about fiduciary duty. I'm speaking about a duty of specificity. Well, that's exactly what Castle Rock v. Gonzalez talks about. Castle Rock v. Gonzalez, again, 545 U.S. 748, 2005, is a United States Supreme Court case in which the court ruled 72 that a town and the police department could not be sued under 42 U.S.C. 1983 for failing to enforce a restraining order which had led to the murder of a woman's three children by her estranged husband. They are appointed by the governor of each state. But I want you to understand, this is one of the things where I kind of give you one of those directionals. Because we're talking about a specific duty. We're not talking about a fiduciary duty. Because when we talk about it, and I talk about the fiduciary duty, it comes under breach of contract and I actually had one of those that I was working on earlier and actually I've been working on for a couple of days now here's where I want to give you something give you two things from this the first thing under the constitution and de jure government the government officer has a fiduciary obligation to each of the people the reason why is because, again, I've told you once, told you twice. These are things that fall under the trust law that is set up by the Constitution of the United States of America. The contract that a police officer takes with the people is one of his oath when he swears to uphold the Constitution of the United States as well as the Constitution of the state they are enforcing law in but at the same context is understanding and we're getting a deeper understanding why I'm saying something in this pretty much arena because again under breach of duty when you're going through tax law and you're understanding that this is done the deeper you dig you understand that under the constitution and did your government, the government officer, has a fiduciary duty or fiduciary obligation to each other people? 
I've even read off case law that said the exact same thing. So, I'll go deeper as we go along. Thank you guys for supporting the podcast. $4.99, $9.99, or $0.99 cents per month because every dollar helps. Or you can donate through Apple Pay and it's as simple as sending a message. We also want you guys to keep purchasing the t-shirts. They're actually going to be more on the regular as it comes available. And lastly, join a tier, whether it's on Patreon or here on YouTube. We're going to have masterclass. We're going to have more live shows. And you guys have got to understand, I'm going to give you more show. I've got to give you more of me because the studio, thanks to you guys, are now being set up. So, going to get more of me a lot more often. So, Supreme, out. Out.